Russia is introducing a new legislation. Can you explain what is this law about? We already have the laws about the drug propaganda and about how you can and cannot speak about uh, drugs in the media. But now uh, it's uh, like more tightening. It's not new. It's amendments to this law. And uh, in January, they just left it in admi as administrative offense, but uh, make the fines bigger. But recently, our president uh, said that he wants uh, uh, the parliament to think more about it and to m move it to the criminal law. Can harm reduction, like promoting harm reduction, uh, become a crime? Yes, if they will introduce, introduce the criminal law, yes, it can be a crime. But uh, even these fines are so huge that uh, for the NGOs working in the field, it's impossible to pay these fines over and over again. Drug propaganda is any information about drugs except for negative information. So unless you say kids' drugs are bad, anything else is drug propaganda. We have been fined already last year with like $12,000 uh, fine, which was already quite huge. The other ones, uh, they, um, they had a speaker presenting and he spoke about his use of drugs, just saying like uh, how the cannabis maybe is better than the other substances he tried. And they were also fined uh, for 11,000 euros. And now they submitted the, uh, their case to the European Court of Human Rights. In Russia, just for the news about what happened in one European country where the cannabis was legalized for medical or any other purposes, media could get a fine, and this fine is very big. It's kind of uh, instrument and a tool how to stop any kind of discussion on drug policy. So if you cannot spread this information openly, there is no public discussion. And what are the reactions from the community, of especially people who use drugs? Uh, it's an access to life-saving information, actually, and uh, the people working in the harm reduction field now worry how they can continue attracting new clients in their services, how they can spread the word about the information and not be sanctioned for it. So, yeah, it's a huge problem. People are discussing various things, like opening bookshops or, like, you know, making information available not in the Internet, but somewhere else. Why now became it important for uh, the Russian government? Maybe it's because of the legalization of cannabis that is happening uh, around the world, and Russia wants to make another statement of uh, how conservative they are, because uh, even the uh, speaker at the plenary from the Russian government he mentioned about these uh, narco-liberal substances and how they are strongly against uh, uh, decriminalization and the rescheduling of these substances. And he also said the only government that are truly uh, following the conventions uh, have uh, the moral right to be present at the CND. We have a very risky moment in Ukraine because a new government and a new president and a new paradigm is being constructed, we are turning towards Russian-style drug policy. They are trying now to synchronize all the laws, anti-drug laws in Ukraine with anti-drug laws in Russia and Belarus. Propaganda is also copied from Russian law enforcement model, and it's about punishment for any kind of information describing psychoactive substances in a positive way.